Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kat and this is the Dolly Shoot channel. I run a small business from home in the UK and today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of our lovely once upon a time nursery signs. These lovely signs are so beautiful. They're lightweight, they're eco-friendly, they are like gorgeous, they tell a story and they're so lovely for a book corner or a nursery kids room or anything like that so if you are expecting a new baby or you're a new mummy or you want to make a gift for a friend then this is such a lovely thing to do for them and it's just a such a unique and special gift so let's get into it you'll need some five millimeter braided cotton cord some three millimeter thick aluminium wire some needle nose pliers some scissors and a glue gun. Please don't judge my glue gun, it's a very heavy duty and I use it every single day. Another thing that you might want to use is a font. So whatever font you like, you can print out and then you can use it for the sign. I will show you in a minute what font I use and how I use that. The first thing you want to do is take out the inner part of the braided cord. So if you pull on it, it will just come out of the inside and then you will, the rest of it will all squish up and then you'll be able to see it will come out and you can just cut this part off. You can cut a length, so the length for the once would be about 1.5 metres um, to be on the safe side. And if you find it doesn't easily come out, then you can just cut the 1 metre and then pull it out the other end. We're then going to take our wire and put it through the centre of the braided cord. This should be quite easy to do now you've pulled the core out. Um, I would say if you twiddle it round kind of like um, and make sure it's as straight as possible then it will go on easier. And then you just pull it all the way through until it's about one to one and a half metres. Cut the end and then glue. I do not recommend touching glue so do this with pliers um, and then you just kind of neaten up the end like that and make sure it's all nice and neat around the edge. So I printed out the word once on an A4 piece of paper. It's about this size and I'm really happy with this font. This is Sacramento and it looks a bit silly because it's not actually continuous but you can just kind of continue that on between the O and the N. I just think this is a really like um, whimsical font. It's really nice for a nursery or just like a fairy tale style. It's lovely so that is what I'm going to use as a template. You can use any font you like. You can just choose a font and then, you know, when you follow it, you will see that it just comes out exactly the same. Just like magic, so you'll see what I mean when you do your own, but it's just lovely. You can see that one of my girls has brought me a piece of cake. It's the Easter holidays, so I always get a piece of cake or a wooden cup of coffee, which is so cute. Okay, so I'm just going to speed it up a little bit now. Hopefully you kind of get the gist of what to do. Using the pliers really, really helps, especially kind of when you have to pinch in on the end. Um, but I think this word is a really nice word to do anyway. It's just like nice and continuous. When you get to the end, you just want to cut the E at the end of the length that you're happy with. So that will cut through both the braided cord and the wire and then you want to just glue as you did in the first place. Then I just trim the end to make it nice and neat and there we go there is our once. That is so lovely you can even like bend the end of the E round if you like or do it however you like but I think this is really nice and classic. If you have a little bit left on the end of the ones, you can do the A with it. Because it's such a small piece of material, I have a little bit left on the end of the one, so I've just done the A. Waste not, want not, I've done an A with it. You would print out an A and then use that as a template. So you have now once and A, so you only have a pawn and time to go. So here's our upon. I've done exactly the same things I did with the once. Um, you'd print out a pawn and time as words and then you would make sure that you just followed the template. If you have any specific questions on how to do these words then please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer your question. If you do want to cut lengths beforehand I would say that you would want to leave 
about one and a half meters to be on the safe side for the upon and probably about the same for time and maybe a little bit less for the once. So nearly finished, you just want to make sure as you're going along that all the letters are quite a similar size, all the lowercase letters are around the same height and I always try and make sure that the T and the O are around the same height as well, which gives that really nice consistency so when you put it on the wall it will have a really nice flow to it. That's it from me for today, but I really hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you again. So just comment on anything else you want me to make or do. So I really hope you enjoyed making your sign. Please show me the signs that you've made. I would love to see them and I would love to see them up on the wall. If you do want to put it on the wall, then I use eight brass wall pins. I would use one for each word. And if you do just want to buy the sign, they are available in the Dolly Sheep shop to buy and I'll leave a link below. So that's it from me. I'm so happy that you're here with me today and I can't wait to see you again. My name is Kat and I release videos every Friday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.